Hello everyone, I am Ninad. I am product manager for additive manufacturing at Philips Machine Tools. I am standing today here at our Pune Additive Lab, which is focused on metal additive manufacturing. In our Pune Additive Lab over here, we are actually located in the state of Maharashtra in India. We have Mark Forged Metal X 3D printer with us. The objective of setting up this particular lab in the location of Pune is that we want to increase the awareness of metal 3D printing into the nearby industrial area. We want to basically take this technology of additive manufacturing to the grassroots level of all the industry segments. Hello everyone, myself Prithagya Kumar. I'm an application engineer in Philips Machine Tools. I take care for the application part of metal and I would like to showcase uh, Metal X with, res with respect to our composite line. We have a, on a similar te technology, we have Metal X, which works on the same pr principle what we have seen in composite, that is fuse deposition modeling. The difference what we can see in this machine is uh, we have a metal part, metallic wire in this. This metallic wire consists of three components. Majority of the component will be of metal, wax and polymer. So uh, post the completion of the build, we will have a metallic parts with a successive process. Like initially we will be going for the print on this metal X. Then we will go for the wash, which will debind the, all the wax material from the part. And post that we will go for the sintering. Sintering is basically for the annealing process, what we are looking for. It's a different from the conventional annealing process, more of a rapid one. And this machine comes with a six different kind of materials, which in line with the industrial different verticals, let's say aerospace, medical and different kind of uh, industries. So we have A2, D2, H13, Inconel 625 and copper. So we have and parallelly a lot of uh, R&Ds are going on to successively increase the number of materials. So these all materials will target on a different front for the hardness, for the tooling industries and successively processing the part. Talking about the materials, uh, if we talk about for A2 and D2 materials, these are the cold working tool steel materials which are being used in uh, different kind of tooling industries like forming tools, punch and dies. And when we are talking about uh, aerospace industries, it, for example, we are using Inconel 6 to 5, which is a high temperature materials which can be used in aerospace, which will give a very good application perspective in aerospace. And when we are talking about copper, copper is the materials which are being used for electrical conductive materials and it can be used in heat sinks and different type of applications. When we are talking about the material, raw materials, so raw material will be similar to this wire and it during the printing these wires are very fragile so we, we can break it through our hands itself but post post the completion of all the process starting from wash and shinter it will be very it will have a metallic features metal x have a feature to give you a metal part in within 28 hours starting from the all the cycle from met, from printing till sintering and having your part in your hand so when we are talking about uh, material like copper, there are very few, uh, few, few technologies which supports a pure copper materials to be printed. So these, these are the advantage for these uh, this machines and it will give you a very good properties with a, with a different, like tool steel, it will give you high hardness values as well. When we are talking about metal additive manufacturing systems, this is the most cost effective system which can be used in any office environment without of a much detailed safety concerns because of the adaptability towards the environment and uh, the raw materials which are being used is not in powder form so it won't give a much dangerous or uh, any carcinogenic uh, hazardous things towards the employee which is working on the machine let's deep dive to see why metal x is customers favorite in metal x we have two chamber one is process chamber which is a printing station and one is a raw material storage center which chamber which will give metal X and ceramic. In the process chamber we have a build volume of 300 by 220 by 180 which is the maximum size we can print on a metal X. During the process the chamber will be heated through four heaters inside and we have two nozzles. One of the nozzle is for metals and other nozzle is ceramic. Talking about metal X system flow to get a metallic part, we will print a part which will be called as a green part and that green part consists of wax, polymer and metallic. Even though it won't feel you as a metallic part, but most of the content will be metallic. That part will be moved to the washing station for the washing. 
we have a specialized liquid in that which will melt out all the wax material in it and post the washing it will be called as a brown part and the same brown part will be moved to the center and during the sintering process it will give a high temperature and during the sintering process all the debinding materials will be melted out and post the post the completion of sintering we will have a final metallic part in the metallic system during the printing we have to place a sheet over it which will be act as a platform build like on which part will be printed like this and we can remove it from here easily so during the printing process all the controls will be given by our IA software and according to the model the software will print the part in case of this uh, metallic nozzle so metal nozzle will be depositing the material over to the platform and once the support material is over there will be a separation line which be which will be uh, deposited by the ceramic layer this all ceramic movement and metallic deposition this all will take care away by the eiger so this whole movement of the nozzle will take care taken by the eiger software and it will elaborate which coordinate will be focusing before the printing starts this these nozzle will be doing the bed leveling nozzle will have a sensor and it will press all the corners and accordingly it will sense the bed level and once the bed level bed leveling is done heating will be started from on the nozzle and these nozzle will be heated before the purging of the material this whole chamber will be throughout this there is four heaters which will be monitoring the bed temperature and it will be optimizing the build volume temperature accordingly this deposition will happen once the part is deposited post every every 10 15 layer this nozzle will move to the brushing station where it extra debris or extra material will be put it on inside this and later we will have to clean it once the printing is completed these motors will be there to help to guide the uh, guide the nozzle in the specific direction which is according to the stl coordinate and this ball screw will make the platform up and down this platform will go z direction height and this whole system nozzle system will go x and y direction we have two spools these spool will be loaded and these all wire will be guided through the this upper feed tube and there there is another upper feed tube feed for ceramic these both will be guided towards the nozzle specific nozzle and it will guided by roller inside which will be controlled by iga software according to the data inputs what we have given mainly towards the processing and post that here nozzle will be using and it will be according to the roller the iger will guide and these nozzle will deposit the profile according to the input data this whole chamber will be heated by the four heater which will help the uh, metallic spool to do not absorb any kind of moisture this metal x systems comes with a process monitoring camera which will give you the right picture about the part how it's going on during the process and this whole system will be connected to the system this camera will give you a picture after every 10 to 15 layers to guide you how the working is going on and if there is some error or anything you can monitor it remotely as well and you can pause the build or stop the build accordingly this whole system will be connected through wifi and lan so you can monitor successively 24/7 how the processing is going on even though if you don't have any operator in front of the machine you can you can fix the printing sheet over the thing over the part and then you can start the printing metal x comes with the user friendly interface which will guide you how many spools of material is loaded and how which material is loaded for example in this case we have loaded inconel 625 which is having a 200 cc of spool then there is a ceramic which is also again 200 cc it will even give you a, a warning about how the temperature of the bed is so it shows that print bed is hot so that means you are not supposed to touch those things and it will show you ready to print once the system is ready and you can give the access through iger even the process is so simpler that when you are loading the material you can simply click on the load material and it will guide you through the all the process like it will give you the process like you want to do a quick loading meter load or same spool for just instance we are going for the same spool because we have already loaded so there will be a heating of nozzle and then this will take another like 5 minutes or 2 3 minutes depending upon the how much temperature you previously had with your printer during the process even we can go for the bed leveling maintenance or any kind of alignment through the same 
same interface and it will guide you like there is an option called bed leveling once if you are feeling that part is getting little bit upside down or anything difference is there you can go for the bed will be automatically leveled in the menu bar of a interface we will have a manual control in which all the movement you can control like doing a chamber upside up and down then material in the material section you can load the material unload the material both specifically for metals and ceramic then there is a storage which will guide you or which will show you what are storage capacities there then there is utilities in which you can look up to the bed leveling system maintenance and other updates print queue is a basically a list of the printing queues what you have assigned to the system and you can press on it and you can start the print again the settings is about the settings what is there like you can for the lan system wifi or any other kind of connectivity once the part is printed then then we'll move the part to the washing station this washing station is having two chamber one is washing chamber in which the solvent will be there specific solvent recommended by mark forge which will be used to melt the wax material from the part and the another station or another chamber what we have is drying chamber which will be used post the washing of the part we have to put the part into the washing station into the bucket so we have a bucket in it we have to fully immerse the bucket into the solvent once the part is immersed into it depending upon the thickness of the part there will be a variation in washing time and it will be suggested by again our iga software once the this washing is, is done then we will hang the basket on top of the same chamber and which will dry out all the extra uh, liquid or extra solvent into it then then we, we will move the part to the drying station from which all the extra solvent will be melted out and it will be evaporated from the drying chamber's exhaust which is on the back side which will have a cfm of 50 to 100 once we got the part from the washing station within there is a centering station in which the part will move to the final finishing of the thing so this centering cycle or this center uh, goes with a three process so initially the first process will be debinding then there will be centering and rapid cooling so during the debinding stage whatever polymer material or whatever extra wax material is there that will be melted out and the whatever that <coughs> parts is pending there that will be compromises only of the metallic components after the debinding stage is over the whole all the fumes or all of the waxes are there that will be again melt evaporated through the exhaust which is back inside back of the sintering post the completion of debinding stage it will move to the sintering stage it will hit to the targeted temperature specific to the different material post that it will go for this compression and it will be getting sintered and then there will be a rapid cooling which will cool down the part so it will be the similar to the annealing process regular annealing process but it will be in a express phase so normally there it has a two types of cycles so there is a express run and there is a normal run so to avoid the extra bit of time cycle time cycle in in the process we will go for the express sintering once we got a part from the washing station which is a brown part it will be put in in the center the sintering will go for the three cycle in which there will be a debinding stage there will be sintering stage and there will be a rapid cooling stage during the debinding stage the wax material will be melted out and it will be evaporated through the exhaust this whole system require uninterrupted supply of argon and mix gas which will be supplied through this panel so this panel will regulate the argon pressure and as well as argon plus hydrogen pressure this consist of argon and there is a mix gas which is argon 97% argon and 3% of hydrogen so this is a software data preparation software which is being used by markforge system this is called a markforge iger software which is being used to generate all kind of supports and to have a analysis which material how much time will it will take to print wash and center so if you talk about printing dimension here you can see there is a printing dimension and there is a final part dimension so there is a difference in this because once the part is printed from printer there will be decrease in final printing because the wax and polymer printing polymer parts will be melted out so this time optimized uh, dimensions are given by the printer on final part dimension so for example this is the stl dimension so when we are putting into the system it will have a 
elaborated or expanded <coughs> dimension as mentioned here. So for this part we can see there is a print type of 4 hours then again there will be a wash time of 12 hours and 4 hours of time dry time. So this will give you the right picture how much time for one part to be taken. So this will give you a print, how much the print mass will be there, final part mass, how much metal volume will be used and how much release volume. Release volume is nothing but the ceramic spool what we have, we have shown. So uh, from here you drop the drop down mod menu you can select 17 dash and other materials. So you, it shows about different materials onyx as well. So when you select different materials it will change from the type of the machine. So we have in <coughs> metal X now we are loaded so that's why we have stainless steel. So there is a two types of furnace one is center one center two. So right now we have loaded a center two which is a better one because of the maximum build size. <coughs> if you want to have a study about how is the internal view look like. So this is the this will be the internal view. You can see the blue part blue part will be the support and the yellow section will be called as a raft. So when the part is printed we will hold the raft and we will tap on the back side and the part will be separated. Between the blue and the gray gray part there will be a thin line of ceramic layer that is our release material or ceramic material which is being used to have a separation between the both and just we can go for the print and we can hit for the print and the part will start to print this part whole the file will be exported towards the system so when we have we print so it will go to the main section we can arrange it the which part of the build where you want to print if you want to add a part you can similarly add the part from your library so accordingly so for example if you are selected 17-4 so it will say so all the 17-4 parts whatever you, you have uploaded. So this is how it is and it will give you all the cost variation as well how much cost will be taken for the material and other things.